Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Um, okay today, so CD update number three. Um, I'm sure you're all thinking, call oh, blimey, he's, he's making video after video of his, his CD updates. Um, but to be honest, these are, these are all CDs that I've picked up over the last sort of three, four months. And because I'm, I'm fairly new to the VC, um, I wanted to sort of get acquainted with, with the whole process and, and show people a bit about what, what my collection was about before I sort of thought about even showing people what I've been buying really. Um, and if you can see in the background, uh, my shelves look a bit, little bit different on this video. Um, I've just picked up a, a new unit over this side now, so um, I've had a bit of a change round and making a bit of room for uh, any more new additions that I have to the collection. So uh, we'll make a start. First thing I picked up um, is kind of a bootleg, I think this one, but um, this is um, the demos by Death. Um, it just comes under the, you know, the heading of Chuck Schuldiner, um, and it's got the Death by Metal demo by Death, um, the De Reign of Terror demo by Death, and then some live tracks. But um, I, I probably wouldn't have bothered with this, you know, it's it, the rough recordings, but um, it wasn't it wasn't expensive to buy, so you know. Like like a lot of these, if it's a couple of quid and I like the look of it, I'm uh, I'm all over it to be honest. But yeah, it's um, it's nice to sort of I suppose hear a bit of the history of um, of how it all got started with Death. Um, you know, classic band, absolute classic band. Okay, second up, this is um, one that I picked up again. I'd not heard much about them until I saw it. Um, it's on the Extreme Music label. Which have been putting out some good, um, some good sort of modern death metal band um, releases. Um, 2012, um, Desecracy, um, The Doom Skeptotron, Skeptron. Um, yeah, modern death metal, um, Doomy. It, it's got a nice raw sound, really guttural vocals. Um, yeah, it, it's fast in parts, really death metal -y. Not quite blast beats, but that sort of relentless fast stuff. But um, yeah, I, I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed having a listen to this. Uh, I'm sure I'll have another listen. Um, but yeah, Desecracy. Um, okay. Got a couple of uh, classic classic rock albums coming up next, so um, yeah, this is. Uh, I don't suppose any of these need any introduction, but um, these are ones that I wanted for my collection. Deep Purple, Fireball. I've not got a massive um, Deep Purple collection, but um, I've, you know I've got Machine Head, uh, Deep Purple in Rock, Stormbringer, um, and again I saw this going for a decent price. Um, so I thought I'd pick it up. You can't really go wrong with a bit of deep purple, can you? Especially if you listen to it in the car. It's always uh, good driving music. And uh, the next one, classic. I've been I've been watching a few videos of uh, Bev Clarko Vision. Um, she's a massive Def Leppard fan, um, and I always enjoy watching her videos. And she talks about them with such passion. And I've I've got hysteria. Um, and I thought to myself, you know, I should I should delve a little bit deeper than that. So um, again, I seen this on eBay, cheap as chips, and um, thought I'll pick it up. So uh, I'm sure Bev will be happy to see I've got that. Um, I'm light years behind <laughs> on the on the Def Leppard uh, discography, but uh, I will pick some of the other ones up. I know Pyromania is on my list, so um, yeah, I've not had a listen to this yet because I only got this the other day. But um, yeah. Um, there's a lot of holes in my collection that I'd like to fill, and I suppose being part of um, the VC, you know, you, you you see what people are talking about, and you think, oh yeah, do you know what? That reminds me, I must uh, must give that a whirl. Okay, next up is um, one of my all-time favourite uh, thrash bands, um, and this album came out. What year was this? '93, and the original singer had left. And they got a new singer, uh, 
of, and the, the, the style of this band changed quite a lot. Um, and as I've said in previous videos, I was on a bit of a journey into more brutal stuff, and and, and I I think I felt at the time that um, these were going a little bit mellower, and I was on a more brutal journey. But um, I love this band, and I saw this again. I've been keeping my eye out and see if I could see it cheap, and it was cheap, so I thought I'll pick it up. And I'm going to see them tomorrow night in um, in Manchester, and then, do you know what? I cannot wait to see them. Um, Cloudy Milder has been seen five times apparently and I was like wow I can't believe that I've um, I've never seen him this is gonna be the first time I see him on on tomorrow night so we're absolutely buzzing well jealous of cloudy for that um, but I suppose you know hopefully they put on a good show I'm sure they will um, anthrax the sound of white noise like I say this is with a new singer John Bush um, and it's just one of those albums back in the day that um, I neglected I'd heard the song Black Lodge. Not even sure if that was off um, off a TV program. I can't remember where I heard it now, but um, yeah, certainly a different style to Persistence of Time. The last one with Joey Belladonna on, but um, yeah, I was happy to pick this up anyway. And it's it's a good album. John Bush has got a great voice. Um, I hadn't really heard any Armored Saint, you know, where John John was from, but um, yeah, just one that slipped through my, through my grasp. Okay, next up, a bit of um, Floridian death metal, but not your, your late 80s, early 90s, this is modern, modern um, Tampa, Florida death metal. Um, I mean, it says on the uh, on the sticker for it, for fans of Black Dahlia Murder, Behemoth, and Job for a Cowboy, but I think these were certainly a lot more, um, a lot more death metal than that. This is um, Dark Sermon. In Tongues, um, 2013 release on Nuclear Blast. So the minute I see anything released on the Nuclear Blast uh, label, I'm going to give it a little a little whirl because you you know you very rarely go wrong listening to uh, bands that are released on that. They're a, they're a solid solid label. But yeah, I enjoyed it very much. Fast, relentless, guttural vocals, but um, yeah, highly enjoyable. Really enjoyed them. Okay, this is another one. Um, I'd seen this. I, I'd heard nothing about the band at all. Um, I don't even know what year this is released. So I think it, it might be a self-financed release, but um, it's really good thrash metal. Uh, I've never heard the band. Uh, I've never heard anyone mention them, speak about them. I've never seen them in any kind of media, but um, The Crossroads, Pariah. I always it, it looks like a thrash metal album cover to me, you know, a little bit politically uh, politically minded. Oops, but um, yeah, it's really good. It, it, you know, the vocals the vocals let it down a little bit for me. It sounds like you know maybe the singer's not got the strongest voice and he's kind of multi-tracked quite a lot. But I'd certainly anyone who's a thrash metal fan, you should you should give it a little whirl because musically it's really good. Um, but yeah, the crossroads. I'd never heard of him before, but uh, again, it was a few quid, so I thought I'd pick it up. Why not? Okay, next. Um, this is a German band, and <clears throat> I think I paid £1.20 delivered. I, how that actually happens, I don't know, because I'm sure the postage rate for CDs is about £1.26, so it was cheaper than the actual postage. Um, and I, I don't really know what, what attracted me to this, because... The artwork, artwork's awful. The whole package is is not very good whatsoever. Um, you know, they've, it's from 1993, um, and some of the guys here, you know, they've got. I don't know. It's not very appealing if if it's the other thing you you're looking out for, and an image is a thing for you, you know, which is which it, I suppose it was was for me back in the day you know in the, in the late 80s early 90s if they look cool then I was going to give it a whirl but this is a German band Panram and you know what it's really 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 good I was well impressed guitar player is is awesome vocalist is very very Queens Reiki really good vocalist to be honest um, and I can only imagine this has kind of slipped through 
you know, I've never heard anyone else talking about this on the Vista. I can imagine it slipped through because, like I say, look at the packaging. It, it, even look at the logo. It's like, it's not even a good logo. It's all pixelated, the prints of it. I don't know if you can see that, if it's coming through on there. But um, it deserves a reissue with better artwork, for sure, because it's really good. If you're a fan of Queen's Reich, Crimson Glory, that, that he's got a you know high pitched voice. Check them out because it's um, yeah, it's really good. I was well impressed, and the fact that it was only one pound twenty, you know, I, you know, it's always a bonus. Like I've said in my other video, I'm a bit of a tight arse, and I don't spend a lot. Um, some of the me grails, you know, I, I don't mind spending a bit more on, but most of these ones I'll pick them up because of the the buttons really. Okay, next up, classic Swedish death metal. Um, I think the original release is from 1993. Uh, a bit, bit more doomier than Entombed and Dismember um, and bands like that. And when they first started out, I believe they were called Macabre End. But um, I have got the the more recent version of this. But I, w I would love the original version from '93. But it's on on quite a, an unknown record label, and it goes for big money, you know. Um, so I managed to pick this up, it's a relapse uh, reissue, 2002, um, and the newest re uh, relapse reissue was 2014, so I was quite happy to pick this up, but um, God Macabre, the winter long. If you like Swedish death metal, you'll like this, simple as, it's that typical Sunlight Studios, um, Thomas Skogsberg production, um, yeah. If you like Swedish death metal, you'll love God Macabre. You can't go wrong. And I think they're just not as as revered as Entombed and Dismember because they, they were on a small label. You know, they were lucky enough getting on the Earache Records and Nuclear Blast. But Macabre End were on some tiny, tiny little independent label. Um, but yeah, certainly give it a listen. If you like Swedish death metal done in the classic way, this is for you. Okay, another bit of uh, classic rock, um, and again, this is filling a hole in my collection. Um, ACDC, high voltage. I did used to have this years and years ago, and I don't know if I was having a, I think I must have been, I was having a call of my collection and going through some stuff and stuff that I didn't listen to anymore, and I can only presume that this got piled in amongst all that and went but um, yeah it's one that um, like I say I had it and and then I didn't have it so uh, I need to pick it up and um, yeah. classic ACDC isn't it filling hole in my collection I've got another one what if I just Dirty D's done cheap I've just ordered that and I managed to get that on eBay for another a couple of pounds but um, yeah made up to have that okay um, bit of a a semi grail for me this one um, again I used to have this on CD but it was a it was a Japanese pressing I'm not a big fan excuse me on the Japanese pressings so um, I let it go I sold it on eBay and then I thought I'll try and pick up an original road racer version from 1991 um, Lars rocket nothing sacred Annihilation Principle by Lars Rocket is one of my favourite favourite albums. I think it's an absolute great, great album. And I do remember hearing this when it came out uh, back in the day. It didn't quite do it for me like Annihilation Principle, but um, and I think there's a couple of new members. Different bass player, I think. Another different guitarist, but um, yeah, like I say, a bit of a semi-grail for me. I'm quite happy to, to pick this up. Uh, I don't think I paid much for this either. Um, I think it was six or seven pound but um yeah an absolute classic slab of bay area thrash um i know michael coombs's vocals are sometimes a bit of an acquired taste but um yeah i'm i'm, I'm a fan i like them i think they're a good band okay um we're flying through these now i've got another three to show you um this is an english band um a 1989 release on the Heavy Metal Records label. I saw this band supporting um, Slammer. I've mentioned them in other videos of mine. 
Um, and it was a gig that I did my first ever stage dive at, um, which I suppose is a memorable moment, isn't it? But um, yeah, it was it was a good uh, a good night. But this is uh, Martial Law. I only picked up this the other day. Um, I, you can't see a thing on that. I know my eyesight's getting bad, but you know, grey with blue, blue on it, I find that impossible to read, to be honest. But um, yeah, these. Uh, I don't know where these sort of got labelled back in the day, but f for me they're just they're just classic classic heavy metal sing along choruses. You know, they, they, they played with thrash bands, they played with rock bands. Uh, I don't quite know where they where they fell in the whole um, genres at the time. And, and you know, back in the, the late eighties, early nineties, it, it, it was hard for bands to sort of jump across those genres, but. Um, I liked them. I don't know if they've got a special place in my art because, like I say, that I, I hadn't heard of them when when I'd gone to see Slammer. It was them I went to see, and I enjoyed these. They were good, and I think one of the members uh, was wearing a Napalm Death T-shirt. Um, they're nothing like Napalm Death, but I think that's why I was I was attracted to to them. I thought, oh, he must be all right, you know, if he's got a Napalm Death T-shirt on. But um, yeah, these early releases, these it's an early press. This. And I don't think they quite sussed out the artwork for them, but you can hardly even see the uh, track listing on there. But yeah, Martial Law, check them out. Really, uh, really good, good metal. Okay, um, again, another semi grail for me. Um, this is another one that passed me by back in the day. And I think the name of the band had done it for me. I, I was, I was convinced they were they were a glam metal band. Um, and because I was a thrasher, a mosher, whatever you wanted to call me, um, a sweat, I believe they call them a sweat, where I'm, where I'm living now, Birkenhead, they call them sweats, or they used to call them sweats, which, you know, I don't know what all that's about, but, um, yeah, so it, 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 fl it flew by me, this one, uh, it's on the Roadrunner record labels, uh, label from 1988, um, and I saw it, I've seen people talking about it, and I thought, I'll have a little listen to that. I'd listen on YouTube, and I, and I loved it. You know, it was it was it's nothing like it expects it to be. It's progressive metal, brilliant vocals, superb musicianship, crimson glory, trans trans transcendence, <laughs> transcendence. Um, oh yeah, it's. Uh, it's brilliant. Um, like I say, I can only imagine the, the artwork, the name of the band. I, I don't. I really don't know. I'd heard of them. I'd heard of them back in the day, but um, you know, and maybe I should have paid more attention. Being on Roadrun and some of my favourite bands of all time on the Roadrunner label, but um, yeah, it's it's a cracker, an absolute cracker. I love it, and I'm gonna listen to it, listen to it, listen to it because it just it sounds like every time I listen to it, there's something new I'm hearing. Um, amazing vocalist, uh, Midnight, I believe he's called. Yeah, can't go wrong with that made up. And last, now, <clears throat> this is a grail that I picked up. Um, this is a band, uh, this is a 1993 release, Swedish death metal, Sunlight Studios, produced by Thomas Gogsberg. I th well, I think it's Sunlight Studios, is it? Yep, yeah, Sunlight Studios. Um, but they seem to miss the boat for some reason, and I can only imagine because that's they've got a slightly different sound to to your classic Entombed and, and Dismember, Carnage, you know, Unleashed, all those bands. Um, they're a bit more progressive, probably got a little bit more of a, a thrashy element to them, um, you know. And they haven't got that typical Sunlight Studios, Thomas Gogsberg sound. It's a little bit different, but um, I made up to pick this up. Desultory, Into Eternity. Um, it's one that I missed, like I say, back in the day. But um, over the over the years and years, I've sort of seen it. I've seen people talking about it. I've seen it, you know, a lot of, a lot of people talking about it and bigging it up. And I thought, yeah, I'll have to have a listen to that. And it's been going for big money. You know, I thought there's no chance of me getting my hands on this. Um, picked this up a few weeks ago. £10. 
So it's a no-brainer for me. Uh, I've not had a good listen to it yet. I've listened to a few of the songs on it, but um, I'm absolutely made up to uh, to get that. Um, and I shall be having a good listen to that on the way to Manchester tomorrow. Okay, guys. Um, as always, and I say it on all my videos, thanks very much for watching. I appreciate your time, um, taking the time to watch. I hope I don't bore the uh, life out of people. Um, I very much enjoy making these. Um, I've seen a thread that Darcy Six Strings Nine Lives has just um, put up uh, tonight. Um, show and tell four bands, two of the al two albums by four bands. Um, that you don't see a lot of on the VC. Um, so he's got my brain thinking about that. So um, over the next couple of days, I shall have a look, see what I can come up with Darcy. Um, right, we'll be listening to The Mighty Angel Witch. Um, this classic bit of new wave of um, traditional British heavy metal, isn't it? You know, um, But this album always makes me laugh because track six, it's meant to be called Gorgon, but it was a, a misprint. It's called Gordon, so uh, <laughs> always makes me smile that. But yeah, a bit of Angel Witch, um, great, classic. Um, okay, guys, I'll leave it there. Uh, my video seems to be getting longer and longer, nearly 22 minutes now. But um, appreciate your time as always. Um, the next time I see you, I will have been to see Slayer, Lamb of God, Anthrax, and Obituary. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, all the other guys on the VC who I've spoken to who are going, enjoy it uh, wherever in the country you're seeing them. Um, look after yourselves um, and I will speak to you hopefully very soon again. All the best, guys. Take care.